Well, my whole family was Catholic background, so I was Catholic, but I always hated church. Ever since I got out of like the really young like Sunday school type, um, and I never had a connection with the church. I never had a connection with the messages. I never had a connection with um, God at that point. I didn't have a relationship with Him. So I left the church, and everything went well for a while. And then um, within a few years, it started catching up to me, and my bad decisions started catching up to me. Um, any success was being eroded by my previous decisions, and uh, everything was crashing down on me all the time. So it was really random because Matt and I shouldn't have met the way we did, but we were both skipping on a talk um, and I went outside of the event uh, where Matt was. And, uh, and as we got in conversation, I kind of jumped into the conversation and then that's when they told me about the church. And I was like, no, and I brought it up. I was like, no, I don't do church. I haven't done church. I've tried other churches since the Catholic and they started laughing when I said Catholic because they're like, we're nothing like that. Um, and that's when he was like, you need to come check it out. And I was like, okay. He's like, I'll give you coffee. He's like, yeah, whatever you want. And so he bribed me with coffee. Um, he said the only thing is you'll have to get up that morning because he knew at that point that I was partying usually on Saturdays and my, Sundays were my sleep-in days so it was hard for me. So the very first Sunday I walk in and I'm being welcomed left, right and center. He's introducing me to everybody and the very first thing that I realized was that I felt welcome. But then he brought me for a coffee and as I was waiting for my coffee I was looking around the room and I realized a lot of the connections I'd made in town were in the church and so that was amazing and then of course we walk in the auditorium you know the music is starting and I was like lights smoke rock music I love drums like I love the sound of drums and everything else I was amazed I look at Matt I was like are you for real right now he's like yeah he's like we got a rock concert every Sunday I was like, this is crazy. We went in there and I teared up to the one of the songs and it just hit me from within. And I was like, I'm so lost. And in that moment I was like, I was so lost. And I knew that. I made a commitment to start coming twice a month. And uh, it took me about two months or three months in order for me to actually come back and start coming on a regular basis. Coming to church was the very beginning of me leading for myself a successful life. I stopped partying and doing all those kinds of things on Saturday nights. So Saturday nights became more of a preparing for Sunday so then Sunday I could prepare for a successful week. Everything that happened, everything I learned, I needed to learn all those things. I needed to have those financial breaks. I needed to have those heartbreaks. I needed to have all that to happen to me in order to lead me for life that I actually want. And so when I looked at every single thing that has happened, everything has happened with God moving through each way. What I had realized is, as we're learning in this series right now with the five Fs, is that faith actually comes first and I was putting it last. Every time I would work and focus on one and then go to the next and try to work on my different success paths, everything would come coming down on me. And the reason why is because I didn't have an anchor that I needed. And the anchor was God, I didn't have that. 